What is up everybody? This is Bruce aka Geektacular and um, this is just an extra unboxing video here tonight for uh, Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag for the PlayStation 4. So um, here's the case. Uh, like all, I think what the standard um, color scheme will be for PS4 cases versus PS3 um, is the actual paper labels are going to go all the way basically to the top kind of similar to DVD cases, um, but they're going to be shorter, uh, shorter than a regular DVD case, um, and with the translucent blue uh, casing there, and that would, uh, of course, with the PS4 logo on top. So, uh, pretty cool looking, uh, pretty cool looking cover here, and you'll see that PS4 has 60 minutes minutes of additional gameplay, so I, th I think if I've read correctly, that's going to be an extra island that you can sail to um, and do a few things, uh, collect a few things there. So, And also from what I read, uh, that additional content will not be on PS3 even, uh, or any other platform, specifically just for PlayStation 4. Although I think most of the other consoles have kind of their own additional gameplay, I believe. Um, just they're different than this one. So, uh, don't quote me on that, but uh, this one at least, the PS4 version, has 60 minutes of unique uh, gameplay versus all the other versions. So, if you look at the side here, it's the PS4, Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag, CUSA 00010. Um, the back here just has, um, you know, all of your fine print, and then it's got all of your... Um, all of your individual little qualifiers here, so uh, 20 gigabyte minimum. Uh, I think all PlayStation 4 games require that you install them on the hard drive. So this one's going to be a 20 gigabyte install minimum. Could be more, I guess. Um, it's going to support two to eight player multiplayer, as well as PS4 remote play, which everything that within design reason should support this. So that doesn't include things that are based on like the PS Move or something, because obviously you couldn't do that motion control gaming with a Vita. Um, but everything else, every other game that uses normal uh, controller controls will be required to support remote play. Um, online play optional, use the DualShock 4 in 1080p. There's been a lot of hubbub lately about um, graphics resolution and stuff. Uh, things on the Xbox One, such as um, I think COD Ghosts being in 720p and being upscaled to 1080p on there. Um, so this one is saying that it has a 1080p output. So I assume that means that uh, the actual native resolution of the game is running in 1080p. Um, stunning and glorious, kind of funny quotes there. Um, simple and to the point, I guess. Uh, this is all region, uh, so this is not region locked. I don't know if all games will be like that, but um, that's pretty awesome. I hope that they all are, because that would be sweet. So, let me pop this up in here. Alright, so, first thing we got here, obviously, is the disc itself. It's kind of got a matte finish here. Uh, PlayStation 4. Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag. So, art on that looks pretty cool. And also one other thing I'll note, um, and I don't know if this is going to be standard on every PS4 game, but I've seen it on other, um, on other unboxings as well, are, um, I think it's going to become more of a thing for games to have digital manuals, and then any, like, warranty info or stuff that they usually would put, like, on a paper card, um, or a paper brochure or something in the actual case. Instead, at least for this release and a few others, they're actually just printing it um, on the back of the paper insert. So this text and stuff is actually in the back of the paper insert, but you can read it through the translucent case. Um, I personally think that's an awesome idea because uh, I don't really need all these extra pieces of paper and crap. I never... The percentage of people who look at the manual is probably very small, myself included. Like I said, I, I never ever look at the manual, pretty much. Unless I specifically am looking for like a particular piece of information or something. Or I want to reference the control scheme or something like that. But generally speaking, I don't even ever look at them. Um, so I'm fine with them just printing all that 
all that stuff there and then having a digital manual on the disk that works just as well for me um, okay so even though they do print this um, manual stuff uh, built into the case to the uh, on the back of the insert they still include a bunch of paper crap in here so I don't really know what the point is but I guess it saves one extra piece of paper crap so um, this is for the Uplay Passport and you'll be required I believe to sign up for this um, to oh actually this is this is an additional um, online extra part of single player and I think you might need it to um, to do multiplayer as well. It's a Ubisoft specific uh, system where it can track I guess your stats and stuff like that and when you sign up you get a few perks like you can see there um, so there's that and then on the other side is my code but I'm not gonna show you that obviously um, and then move this away. and there's another insert here um, which it, is advertising Assassin's Creed Initiates. Um, so I think it's like an online thing that you can sign up for when you get the game. Um, and it tracks your progress and stuff like that. A lot of other games have it, like Call of Duty has a service that does that. Um, you can kind of sign up for it and it gives you extra, extra online stuff. Um, so this is an ad for uh, Liberation HD. Uh, a few other things, and um, this is actually the 60 minutes of additional gameplay. Um, it's actually referring to a code uh, on the back of the cover. So again, it's like printed like this is, but ex except it's on the other side. But obviously, I'm not going to show you that because I actually want to use that code. So, um, but it is printed on the inside of the case. And oh, shot to the heart! This is an ad for Watch Dogs, which is delayed until 2014. I'd originally uh, pre-ordered my PS4 with Watch Dogs, but unfortunately that didn't work out. So, um, Assassin's Creed 4 I think will be pretty fun as well, so um, I'm not too upset about it. Um, but yeah, so that's all you get uh, with the game. You get the game itself, you get your code, um, on, it's on the back of the front cover of the case for um, your additional 60 minutes of content. Uh, you get kind of this throwaway ad packet, and you get a code to sign up for uh, Uplay, so you can get all the extra uh, multiplayer and some extra single player perks, like an extra title and stuff like that. So, all of that is what makes up Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Uh, and again, the PS4 will not be out for another few days still. Um, it is Tuesday night right now, and it's not coming out until Friday. So um, I'm going to get to look at this along with my DualShock 4 and my Turtle Beach uh, P4C. PC4? P4C? That sounds more right. Uh, my P4C headset uh, my for my PS4 for a few more days. Um, and then I'll finally get to play this on Friday. I've been waiting. I didn't get it for PS3 or 360 yet. Um, I wanted to wait to get it for PS4. So I'm really looking forward to it. And I uh, can't wait to crack it open and give it a play. So hope you guys like this. Uh, if you do, remember to rate it thumbs up. And also remember to subscribe below. Uh, if you like this unboxing, I'm going to do a lot more unboxings. Um, I like to be as detailed as possible when I go through things. So I like to show you kind of every aspect. Maybe some things that some other people don't show you. Uh, so if you like video game stuff, if you like unboxings and things like that, uh, go ahead and subscribe, and then you can you can get notified whenever I uh, post some more. I'm going to have my PS4 unboxing on Friday. I'm going to make a very detailed video about that, probably, as well as a couple other games like Killzone Shadowfall, um, and I'll also be showing off Skylander Swap Force for PS4 as well. I'll be doing unboxings for all of those in the next few days. So if you like this, be sure to subscri subscribe, uh, click like, and check out my other unboxing videos. All right, thanks. Have a good night. See you next time.